Hi everyone, in this video, I am going to talk about Certified Ethical Hacker Program. This program is offered by Easy Council. Easy Council is world-renowned US-based organization. During this short video, I will talk about what is Easy Council, what are the domains that we are going to cover during this Certified Ethical Hacker Program, and what are the prerequisites for anyone to register with this course. Let's begin. EC Council is also known as International Council of E-Commerce Consultants, a member-based organization certified individuals in various e-businesses and information security skills. So they are the owner and creator of world-famous series of cybersecurity certifications, including Certified Ethical Hacker, Computer Hacking Forensic Investigator, Easy Council Certified Security Analyst, and Licensed Penetration Tester. Easy Council has certified over 200,000 security professionals, including world finest organizations. US Army, the FBI, Microsoft, IBM, and United Nations are among them. Many of these certificates are recognized and endorsed by world-leading defense organizations, including National Security Agency, United States Department of Defense, and various other leading defense organizations. Now, let's see what are the domains that we cover during Certified Ethical Hacker Program. Certified Ethical Hacker Program is not a network security training program, and it's not a security analysis training program. And then again, it's not a security testing training program, but it's 100% security offensive training program. During this training, we will be covering 20 modules or 20 domains. First module would be introduction to ethical hacking. There, we will be talking about what is hacking, hacking phases, and hacking methodologies. And then the second module is footprinting and reconnaissance. There we'll be talking about information gathering, various techniques and tools that we can use to gather information. So the third one will be scanning networks. This falls under network penetration testing. And then fourth module, we will be talking about enumeration, pull out more specific information. And then fifth one is a vulnerability analysis how to find vulnerabilities, how to do vulnerability research, what are the databases and resources that we can use. And the module six is very interesting module, which we will be covering how to do system hacking. Range of systems, including Windows and Linux operating systems, and how to hack systems when you have physical access, when you don't have physical access, and how to hack a machine in a range. And then the seventh one is malware threats. We will be talking about range of malware, including Trojans, viruses, worms, and ransomware. And then the module eight would be listening to network or sniffing. How to sniff a network, how to sniff a network traffic, whether it's Wi-Fi or wired network, how to listen to network, and what are the tools that we can use. And module nine would be social engineering. How to use range of social engineering techniques. What are the tools available? How to launch such a technique? How to combine another techniques with social engineering? And then the module 10 would be denial of service attack. How to bring down systems using tools and techniques. And then what are the methods that we can launch these attacks and then the 11th module will be session hijacking how to steal a session and recreate it and the module 12 is evading ideas firewalls and honeypots once you detect there is a firewall how to go through it how to penetrate it how to evade it and then module 13 14 and 15 we will be focusing on web hacking and web security starting with web servers and web applications and various attacks against uh, web technology. Referring OWASP technologies, open web uh, application security project. And then 
Module sixth would be hacking wide wireless networks. And there we will be talking about range of techniques and tools that we can use to hack a wireless network. And then module 17 is hacking mobile platforms. We will be talking about Android, iOS and other mobile operating systems and what are the threat vectors. And then the module 18 is IoT hacking, Internet of Things or Internet of Everything, how to launch attack against them. And the module 19 is cloud computing, what are the areas that attackers can use to attack cloud technologies. And the module 20 would be cryptography related attacks, crypto analysis and various uh, encryption algorithms and related attacks. So these are the 20 modules that we're going to cover during CEH version 10. Uh, and CEH program teaches 100% network offensive training, not defensive. I hope this is informative and stay tuned with latest videos.